All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Many, many years ago, there was a preacher, I and mean, there was not a preacher, a singer in America called Frank Sinatra. You may, some of you may know. He came up with a, he sang a song. I don't know if he wrote it or not. But he, he sang a song that I used to like back in those days. He said, I did it my way. I did it my way. A single record was made. One song on a record. Sold more than a million copies back then. One song. People would go and buy one song record to hear that. And they'll play it again and again. I did it my way. You know, I used to hear that also, you know. Now I look back on it and say, what was in it? There's nothing. He's singing, I did it my way. And we all loved it because we all belong to that bunch that did it our way. We were all gone astray. We were all sinners. We all went astray. We were all people that did things our way. That was our, that is sin. What is sin? No place for God. What is sin? Not living for the glory of God. We do it our way. We loved it because that's the way we lived. You ask people, say, don't do it that way because the Bible, say, forget about the Bible, man. It's my money. I earn it. I'll do whatever I want with it. It's my legs, my hands. I'll do what I want with it. Who cares, you know? That's the way. That's the, that's the my way thing. <laughs> my way is the highway. Is my way is the best way. You know, that's the way people live. That is sin. That is what Bible describes as sin. They don't realize that God brought them into the world. God gave them life. We dedicated a child. How did the child come into the world? God gives the children. Children are a heritage of the Lord. He has given the breath of life, brought them into the world, put treasures inside of them, talents and gifts for a purpose. How can you just live your way. You must, if you really understand all these things, you'll say, God, which way should I go? You know, but the thing is, verse 6 says, all we like sheep have gone astray. English is very polite and nice. It doesn't bring out the thing. In Tamil it says, Tirindu. Tirindu. Tirindu is loitering. Going about here and there, but going nowhere, you know. Tirindu. That's what is translated as astray. You know, there is a difference between tiriridu and going in a particular direction, you know. Tirindu means just to go any which way. And I've also tried it back when I was young. For a while I was going around just here and there, no purpose. I remember spent hours together just talking to these guys, stand there and talk and laugh and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Some, some of these preachers will come say, Oh, Sam, how are you? What are you doing here? Summa. Just simply, <laughs> simply we are standing here. Simply. I couldn't tell any purpose for standing there doing the things. For hours, the one whole evening will go. Six o'clock we'll get together, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. You know, just, just going, you know. Those days we never had cell phone, but we could tell where anybody will be. We'll go pick up our friends and say, no, no, he won't be there, I'll tell you, he's there. We were like prophets, you know, we were led. We were led by the Spirit. No messaging, no phones, nothing. But we could go catch a fellow where he is, exactly. We'll catch him exactly where he'll be, you know. Those were the days. No phone bills for a change. But that's not a good life because that's a wasted life. Every day we lived like that. We went nowhere, wasted hours and hours. I wish I had just sat down and did something, you know, productive. I never did it. I, I could have learned something. I could have read something. I could have, you know, understood many things. But I never thought. I never thought there was anything to read and understand and learn those days. I never had a purpose. I didn't know why I was here, why I was born, what God has given to me. That I'm answerable to God. There is a God who is a creator. I'm just a creature. That every day I must seek his will. I never thought that. That's the condition of a sinner who is lost. He is lost. That's why he's loitering. In life he goes about just like this here and there. Astray. Not knowing what to do. When you get saved, the one thing that happens is you get hooked up with your maker. 
and he gives you direction instead of being pointless in your direction you become very well directed every day you get up with a vision your life is filled with a vision you go about doing certain things exactly as you must do it and live it fruitfully amen